he's kind of a rocker. I mean, he's a. I can imagine that his favorite songs would be rock. Yeah, when we have team dinners at his house, he, he, uh, he and Julie, his wife, sometimes perform. That's always really good. I pulled into Nazareth, was feeling about half past ten. Take a load off, baby. Take a load for free. Take a load off, baby. He's so smooth on the guitar. And uh, yeah, he's really good. Yeah, I think he's a pretty good guitar player. Um, I'm not really sure what his favorite song is. He, have a, he has a bunch of different favorite songs, I'm sure. I don't know, man. All his teammates, uh, they're just cranking up that. Billy Chad, I mean, I can do it, this guy's here. <laughs> he's always pretty pumped. He's always says the same things, pretty much. Just like um, we, we do the pray, and he always, he's always thankful for the, the talent in the room. You know, he typically goes through his standard progressions in the motivational speeches. It's, you know, you know we gotta get tough. You know, we gotta get, dig a little deeper. And we gotta get tougher. The motivation is like, he keeps telling us his past stories, past players, what they did, and how they like overcame it, or like how, how bad things happen and stuff. If coach wasn't a tennis coach, he would be a, he would be a star, a rock star, because that's what he is on, the on, you know, in more of a tennis field right now. But I think with music is definitely his uh, his biggest passion. And just when you look at him and the way he is about life, that that's just that's something he's, he was born to do. You know, I could see him being like a, a motivational speaker, or maybe like a motivational speaker backslash sheep's herdsman or something like that. You know, he's, he's like big into the earth and just doing stuff earthy like. He would be either a hippie or in a band playing guitar probably. Probably just roam the land, do what he wants with his wife Julie by his side. I mean if coach were, if he wasn't a tennis coach he'd probably be a lawyer because it's always so good to uh, kind of um, arguing and kind of being a little bit sneaky but always kind of finding loopholes and uh, kind of arranging things the way he wants them. I mean, the way he argues with the referees, the way he talks with us, how he tries to convince, convince us, he does a really good job on that. Maybe some kind of politician or something, he's really good at arguing and like he's well with, and he always know, like, have a response what to say. Take a load off Fanny, take a load for free, take a load off Fanny.